Kia ora everyone. Today we're going to go over how to make a, a simple way of creating uh, a folded out four into 2D of a complex shape, or I guess a complex model here, using uh, uh, um, Grasshopper. So to do this we're going to need to install a plugin. So if we come up to uh, Rhino and type in package manager um, we can come and install a, a plugin called Lunchbox. So just lunch should come up. So we can click on that and then hit install and then go install and it will download that uh, add on and install it for us. We're going to need to um, restart. Um, so you can change the detector that cannot be completed while Rhino is open. Please restart Rhino. So we need to just make sure we do that. So um, let's just save a couple of things. Um, uh, so let's just quit this. And save. So that's going to quit. And then if we open that up again. And let it load. So I'm just going to open what I just had. So double click on that. And then open Grasshopper. And then uh, open our simple box. And you can see at the top we have lunchbox and lunchbox email which is for machine learning so there's a whole lot of functions in there but um, the one that we want so we come into here type in unroll brep let's zoom in a bit um, what's well, quite handy uh, um, we can if we don't quite know where that is we can hold down uh, option and command on a Mac or control alt on a PC and we can click and that will show us where that came from. So that's a really handy uh, shortcut. So that's option command on a Mac and control alt on a PC computer. Um, we can click on there and it shows us where it is. Uh, and so what we can do is we would take um, our result, so let's just move that around a bit, uh, bring that and put that into the B rep. If we come back, oh, come back into here and then up to the top, you can see it creates uh, a file automatically for us now, or a geometry that's all laid out flat that we could then print and. Uh, um, used as a layout. So let's just uh, close. Well, let's save that and close this. Whoa! I didn't want to do that. Uh, we need to bake that first. So let's bake that out. And I'm just going to put it on layer two. Or well, it doesn't matter, but some layer. Uh, and if we look at this. You can see it sort of just gives us pieces. Um, so actually I'm going to uh, undo that. So I'm going to unbake it, so to speak. And then there's a little join unrolled. So at the moment that is set to false. I want to set that to true just so that it's all in one. So now if we bake that out again. Layer two, uh, you can see that's all one one piece now. So let's just close this and then bring this back down here. Put that to shaded. Um, I'm going to create a new page. Um, so move this down. So in our layout, so we've got the layout tabs. Remember, if yours aren't there, you can just click on the little circle here, show uh, panels, 
and you can select it from there. So I'm going to create a new layer and this one I'm just going to make it uh, A4 so under size we can go A4 keep it landscape and I want top front and apply um, so we don't need this one so we can move that uh, oh that was weird uh, come and click on this again so ooh, click up here just bring that down actually bring that down a bit more so we don't need that now we want to set this uh, where are we properties so we want to set this to I think there see how that goes that's probably about right so we just need to make this a bit bigger So I've set what I've done there, so this uh, detail view or viewport, I've set to millimeters on page is 1, meters on model is 0 0.1. And so I think we can check this, so let me just come in and do this, uh, display mode, and Where's that gone? Come in here, then display mode, and I'm just going to do, um, could even do technical. No, we don't want technical, let's do monochrome. So, uh, or even what could be better? Uh, I click in here, double click in there, and then just go Arctic maybe. No. It's good just to play around with these uh, things a little bit. We could go wireframe. It's got a few extra wires, so we don't want that. Let's just go back to monochrome. I think that'll be fine for what we're wanting. So uh, what we can do now that we're out of that window is just type in distance and check from there to there and that's 42 so we just need to check that's the right size so if we go back to perspective and just check we've got that because I can't remember what we've set that to Ooh. window so distance forty two point six so I'm pretty sure that'll be right so let's just double check uh, this one three point nine six so if we just go back to layouts and then distance yeah so that's that's correct for what we're wanting I think 3.96 uh, slightly different um, and then if we go file print Ooh. rather than just create a PDF now we can actually print it so we can make sure we're in landscape make sure we're in vector output uh, you can print it black and white probably um, and then just layouts uh, and then the other key thing here is rather than scale to fit uh, we want this to be one to one so we've got on page one and then there uh, so that that should be correct I think and then we can print that and then you can go and basically cut that out and fold it back up and you should be good to go so um, 
although it's not going to work because my printer's not online. But uh, if we come back to perspective and grasshopper, so just to show the power of this, so if we come back and uh, adjust some things. Oh, let's be a little bit smarter. Five. Oh. So you can see it's automatically updating as I do that. So that development is, is coming through. So let's try again. So if we just bake that out. And we'll do it layer three this time, and then there. You can sort of see all the different parts if I bring that out a bit further. Um, you get the idea. I don't know why it's moved it down there, but uh, some elements you might need to move around, so you not, might need to turn that boolean off to get all the pieces in the right place. But hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how to do that much quicker than sort of doing it manually.